in the same way that the Acura Precision concept informed all of Acura's design language over the past several years, I get a sneak peek at this. This is the Precision EV concept, and this is going to inform everything that they do in the electrified vehicle space moving forward. Let's take a look. First things first, yes, clearly this is an SUV and not a sedan, which doesn't surprise me. But this would be the initial leap Acura takes into the pure electric space. It just makes sense. The exterior design feels modern, sleek, quite minimalistic for the Japanese brand that normally employs lots of sheet metal creases. I like the high cheeks on this and what almost looks like a waterline around the rockers. I'm definitely a less is more gal, and this one hits the nail on the head. There's so much about the exterior that looks super aerodynamic and very cool, but one thing I want to point out is this. This almost looks to me like a shark fin, but this line comes all the way down the entire length of the body, and then all around here, you see, works in tandem with this rear spoiler here, this little bit of a ducktail, and we can't take you all the way around because there's super secret stuff over there that we're not allowed to shoot, but that line continues all the way around the other side of the car, and finishes up here with this second hood fin. You guys, this is super cool. Designers at Acura took inspiration from luxury boat design, and I can totally see that. And no, not just because of its size. This SUV definitely has sporty styling with a long dash to axle ratio, super short overhang up front, and a little bit of a longer overhang in the rear. It looks great. Other sporty features include the raked windshield and the clear arrow we've got going on up front, and this cool 3D particle glitch motif on grille and the wheels. Speaking of, yes, it's got wheels the appropriate concept vehicle size and Indy Yellow Pearl brake calipers. So there are some things that you will find familiar that currently exist in Acura's design language, and that includes this. This is a Pentagon grille, which has kind of an illuminated double apex design now, as well as the chicane headlights that you find here, and as a tail light treatment in the rear. We weren't able to get into the interior because, well, it doesn't exist yet, but we've got a couple of cool renderings, and hey, here's some footage of Acura executives showing this concept a lot of love and snuggles. Aw, it's like they're petting a little puppy. Acura gives the Precision EV concept interior a cool sort of Jekyll and Hyde story. When you're driving, they've got what's called instinctive drive vibe, which turns everything red and focuses on mechanical and visceral details. The cockpit is massively inspired by Formula One. See the yoke steering wheel, where you'll find all the car controls? Even cooler, the screens that show driver information and infotainment become completely transparent when you're not using them. When would you not use them, you ask? That's the vibe that Acura calls Spiritual Lounge, which is this watery blue and emphasizes relaxation. While your car drives for you, yes, the future is autonomous. The lighting and even smells in the car invoke serene situations within, so you're not freaking out about traffic without. Hey, you could watch KBB videos in here while the car drives you. If only you subscribed. All the interior materials are organic, sustainable, recycled, or upscaled, including wood, biomass leather, a polyweave synthetic on seats, and even a forged wood chip acrylic that does a great carbon fiber impression. When it comes to HMI, that particle glitch motif on the exterior will appear on boot up, and driver or passenger interactivity will include haptic touch. Next, I'm sure we'll be able to just blink and change our Spotify playlist. Obviously, there's gonna be so much more to talk about when it comes to all of Acura's electrified vehicles. The first thing that we can say is that this is gonna make its first appearance as a production model in the year 2024. And I can even tell you what that name is right now. This is going to be the Acura ZDX. A lot more to come, stay tuned. Oh, and just a little postscript for folks who stayed around, there will be a ZDX Type S variant. Be very excited.